taking people outside the existing currents of their social situation and putting them in a new situation with with new currents. That's one kind of strategy that comes up in political reconciliation. And also these sort of successful diplomatic efforts like the Camp David Accords, where people are brought in outside of the, or kind of a bit freed from the, the constraints of their existing reference groups and the norms and their constituents. So I think that maybe we could put like three, I think there's three things that kind of come up here. One, like, and this kind of resonates with a lot of what's in the book about the ingredients for social change. One is that, or, or even personal change, one is that it's always participatory. So people are kind of, you know, as your clients are doing, they're kind of involved, right? They're taking action. They're experiencing the new idea for themselves. It's never really top down. And that really dovetails with a lot of the research. Top down efforts to lecture at people, get them to think what you think almost invariably backfire. Because as you're saying, it has to be something that I live, it has to be part of my lived experience. So participatory. The other is that there is always a social element to it, especially a novel social element where I'm with new people who perhaps share a common discomfort that we all acknowledge and who share perhaps a common vision of trying something different. I think you need both of those. Yeah, both of those. And then the third is what is called in social psychology, self-affirmation, self-affirmation, which is creating these situations where people can express who they are and feel valued for it rather than, than hide in shame. And I think that those three ingredients, participatory processes, social, the social element and self-affirmation seem to be kind of a, a special cocktail for creating change. Like even at this kind of, at the level of, personal change, but I think also at the level of social change, when you're looking at what creates political reconciliation, for instance. Mm -hmm. 